we're going to start by looking at a like Tetris style game which we can decompile, alter the code and then get the game to reveal the flag to us. Now whilst I was going through this there was actually a second way to do this which I believe is an unintended way. So I'm going to show you both of them, let's check it out. The description reads Cypher has gone dark, but Intel reveals he's hiding critical secrets inside Tetris, a popular video game. Hack it and uncover the encrypted data buried in its code. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is download our task files. So I'm going to save that to our desktop. And then if we go to our desktop, double click that and I will extract it again to the desktop and if we then look at our executable file with properties we can see that it's using Go Engine so we now need to obtain the correct decompiler and engine for us to run it in so I have GDRE tools which is for decompiling and then I've just got Godot which is for running the program so I will include the links in the description but you can get GDRE tools from GitHub you just google it um, alternatively follow the link and you can get the Godot engine from godotengine.org Great, so first thing we need to do is click on GDRE tools, open that up, and then click RE tools, recover project, go to our desktop and find our decompiled Tetrix game. And you can see that it has recovered the project so we just want the full recovery and let's extract that to our desktop click extract and then open folder and you can see our decompiled files next what we want to do is open our go engine and load those decompiled files into it so I'm just going to click on go run the executable and then import go to desktop and is it this one? yeah and then find project.goda click on open import and now we have our files that have been opened in the Go engine so we can go through each of these files and see if there's anything that stands out. First of all though I'd recommend just running the game just to see how it works so I click on the play button and you can see it's just a regular Tetrix, Tetris style game. We've got a quit button, a pause button number of lines, our score, uh, which block is coming next and our score that we need to get so it's saying that we need to get just under a million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine and once we get that I assume that we will get the flag but there's no way that I'm going to try and score that so let's have a look at some of the project files Normally what I would do is try and look for these .gd files and see if there's any code that stands out. So I'm probably going to speed up this video whilst I go through these and we'll stop it once I come to an interesting point. Okay, so remember when we ran the game, we had the score that we needed to obtain, which was just under a million. We have the score function here, which has an if statement, and then if 
that is true, then we will reveal what's inside the button container. So we should just be able to change this to zero and then run the game. And you can see that the container has revealed the flag. So we have the flag here, THM, I can read it all. And we have a score of zero, so that's why that has happened. Um, it should be possible as well just to completely remove this check so that it will just run through the function and display the button code. So let's try that. Yeah, that also works. So you can see we also have the flag by just removing that if statement. There is an unintended way to also solve this box, and that is through the strings functionality. So I've downloaded the zip file, so I'm just going to ls and then unzip our Tetrix file. And then just let's have a look at it in our folder. So I can just run strings and the name of the file, so on the executable. And then I'm just going to pipe that into grep and then enter the format of the try hack me strings, which is all uppercase THM and then opening curly brackets. And then it would be whatever value for the flag. So as long as you know the start of it, we can just grep for this string and we should, there you go, get the flag straight away. So I believe that is an unintended method to do it, but it works all the same. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit all those buttons and I'll see you in the next one. Hey.